You probably clicked on this video because you want to win the Formula 2K event. First off, y'all better sub up, man. We on that grind to 100K, bro. We just hit 20K. I want to say thank you guys, man. But also, I need y'all to like the video too and stay to the end for your best chance of winning the Formula 2K event. I'm going to go in depth of how to win, how the rep works, how to end games fast. Enjoy the video, man. Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy, Wiz. And today, man, I'm gonna be telling y'all how to win the Formula 2K event. There's two main things to get down if you're trying to win. The first thing, ending the games fast, because it is a race. And the second thing is rep. You have to get consistent amounts of high rep games to be able to win, along with ending the games fast. I'm gonna tell y'all how to get both right here all right so the way the event works is it's usually around six to six hours four hours or eight hours that's how it's been all year so basically if it's four hours you want to aim to finish by around two hours 15 minutes if it's six hours you want to end around three hours 30 minutes 20 minutes 40 minutes around there if it's eight hours you want to aim to finish around six six and a half hours and that's that's how you will secure top 10 get the unlimited boost the helmet the clothes and all that you need to be top 10 so obviously if you're having like 10 minute games 15 minute games that's not going to help your chances of winning because you need to get the most amount of rem the shortest time possible my first tip for ending games fast is not to force anything man you can't force anything if you're going to win this event you can't force lobs you can't force three you just gotta get a nice little mix of both and do everything man what you want to do is basically get threes up until they play up so mostly you play in this the center will play down so you need to get threes off so you need to be as efficient as possible get the threes in while you can and then when the center starts hel helping tell your center to split early and you can throw a lob and that's easy rep another thing you have to do to end games quick is you need to understand the rep system what I mean by that is to know when lobs cap out and when to shoot threes to be the most efficient to get as much rep and finish the game as quick as possible. Lobs cap out at five or six. So what you want to do is after you get, you want to throw, I, I, what I did every game is I had 9.6 assists, 9.6 assists, get that down. So basically you need six lobs, nine points. It doesn't matter what order you get it in. You just got to get the three threes and then six assists so you need but let's say they're playing up so you get two threes and then you get four assists then a three and then two lobs like you gotta get six lobs and then three threes and that's what you gotta do every game one more thing about the rep system this year is it's all about your pie chart so for this event you need it you need to have yellow and blue in your pie chart to win you need to have yellow or blue in your pie chart so if you're like a center and interior force which is an all blue like a red and blue paint beast that's what i played with i used a green and yellow pie chart so playmaking and shooting if y'all don't know blue is finishing so when i when i won i played with a blue and red so finishing and defending i was using a, a playmaking shot creator which is green and yellow you can make an offensive threat out of that you can make a playmaker if you can shoot you just need to be able to shoot the threes and then end the game so make sure you need to make sure if you're playing guard that you have yellow in your build or if you're a center you need to have blue in your build so a final rundown of what you have to have to win this event so you need a yeah a, a point guard build with yellow in it so playmaking and you need a finishing center build or or small forward build you, like you need someone to catch the lobs and the person catching the lobs has to have blue if they want to win for the person throwing lobs if they want to win they have to have yellow you get more rep for certain things depending on your pie chart so with this all being said what you got to do is basically shoot three threes and throw six lobs and you can win that's that's how you get your best chance to win and don't force anything don't force lobs don't force the threes just let it all come naturally just try and outplay your opponent and that's how you'll have the best chance of winning if you do this method correctly you should be getting 12k to 16k a game depending on your opponent's strength and if you do the method correctly the event is six hours it's 60 laps if it's four hours it's 40 laps and if it's eight hours it's 80 laps and i'm pretty sure the one when you got the closest one as i upload this it, it is six hours and each lap will be 7k rep 60 laps times 7k so that's 420,000 my points i'm gonna do some math so you're getting 13k a game for this whole event uh, roughly around 13k sometimes you'll get a little less sometimes you'll get more it will take you 32 games to get 420,000 my points in the last formula i finished third in three hours and 40 minutes that's roughly around 6.8 minutes so like seven minutes give or take some 
Um, if you want to come top 10, you have to finish every game and get 13K in seven minutes, man. There's a reason it's called Formula 2K, man. It is a race. It is a competition, man. So good luck to everyone. If this video helped y'all, smash a like. Remember, 9.6 assists, man. 9.6 assists is the key to win. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you're new here, man, sub up. We on that grind to 100K, man. Like the video. Click a video on the screen here, and I'm out, man. Peace.